I, I will say that there is a full chapter in my book that is specifically about the views of a lot of people who I love, you know, Sam and Michael Shermer and, yeah. the, and, and Hanker and the whole neo-enlightenment strain of thought that I think kind of includes Jonah Goldberg on the conservative side. Yeah. And uh, I and, love these guys and I feel, intellectually, I feel more comfortable with that position, but right. I realize I'm just being whittled away. I, well, I, I just I, see I think it can't that, hold so, much So longer. here's my basic view and my basic thesis is that there are two views of the Enlightenment. One is that in Jonah Goldberg's words, it was the miracle. That it kind of sprang from nowhere. Suddenly reason dominated over revelation and it crushed revelation. And in the wake of that crushing came the full flowering of economics and humanity and freedom and liberalism. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and that those things were opposed, reason and revelation the, were opposed exactly, for that. Exactly, these were, that these were yeah. and, and not only that, they, they weren't intention, they were fulsomely opposed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there's truth that reason and revelation are intention, but it is also true that certain assumptions undergird the assumptions of reason. Yes. In order for you to believe that reason exists and isn't just a, an evolutionarily favorable firing of neurons, mm -hmm. 